what's up goodies welcome back to your girl channel and to my kitchen how to cook and i'm here with your requested recipe so here we go easy keto chicken dinner recipe in your kitchen pay a table fast easy and yet simple now if you are here watching me cooking this recipe for your first time be sure you subscribe goody and then turn on your post notification settings why so you will always know when we upload recipes like this now you ready for some cook we are wait pan let's cook in my eyes, I'm a star girl. Hey, she fit me. And she give me love plenty. Yeah, she authentic. Now, goody, let's cook this requested recipe. Now, here I have my chicken drumsticks that has been nicely washed with salt, lemon juice, and vinegar, and we are doing skin off. Make sure that you remove the skin from your chicken. Now, we're going to season it mellow. Now, to get the chicken seasoned and flavored, I did add some salt to it and white pepper. Now, to make it more mellow, of course, I went in with the onion powder for sure and I did go in with the garlic powder now to give it a tad more bit of flavor to turn it up right may use some all-purpose seasoning and the all-purpose season of choice was in fact my combo seasoning because the combo seasoning is what I love to use of course you can substitute it now I did go in with some paprika the paprika is going to give it color Tat flavor, color galore. Now I'm going in with my green seasoning that I made at home. I'm going to list the recipe for the green seasoning. The link will be down in the description box. So go ahead and click on that link. You're going to see how I made that green seasoning. I did go in with about two tablespoons of the green seasoning and I added some soy sauce to the mix. You want to go in with clean hands, of course, and massage the, all the spices into the chicken. Now, be assured and don't worry, all of what I'm using here will be listed down in your description box. So go ahead, go downstairs and check it, goody. They will be there. So no panic, no panic, no panic. It dead it. Now, I'm going to let this go ahead and sit and chill for at least 45 minutes. Cover it up with the uh, plastic wrap and just make it chill. Now, moving right along, this is my um, seasonings of choice. My fresh seasonings is onion, bell pepper. I'm using red, green, and yellow, and some scallion. And of course, I'm going to throw in my scotch butter pepper, but I am not going to pop it. I'm not pop that thing, the no way, Jose. Now, to get started, to cook up this keto chicken recipe that you requested in a pot, I added some oil to it. Right, so we want to get this thing started. Moving right along with some butter, I did add about three tablespoons of unsalted butter only, and I did go in with quite a bit of chopped fresh garlic to the mix. Now, all I did was go ahead and combine all these three together to get the flavors kicked up and started. For maybe about a minute or so. Now I place the chicken on top of that right there. You want to just go ahead and just pack all the chicken in. And um, yeah, it's going to have a nice color. We, want it, we don't want it to be brown like I'm at brown stew chicken. We're just going to give it flavor. So all you need here, goody, is to cook this right here for nothing more than 10 minutes. Five on one side, five on the other side, 10 minutes top, and the chicken is going to be ready. Also, you want to fry this on medium heat. Do not fry it on high heat because it's going to be overdone. So you just want to go ahead and make it nice and mellow on medium heat. Fry it on one side for five minutes, 
fry it on the other side for another five minutes. Pour in all that good juices that you have marinated from the chicken. Don't waste it. You're going to need it. It's going to give the chicken more flavor. That is what it looks like. All right. After you have let it do a thing for five minutes. Five minutes later, you go in and you turn it. That's exactly how the color is going to be after five minutes. You don't want it to be black or dark because you're not making brown stew chicken here. This is not a brown stew chicken recipe, honey. Okay? So just go ahead and turn that chicken just like that. Now, if you're still watching me cooking, make sure that you turn your notifications on. Even though you're subscribed to the channel, go ahead and check your notifications to make sure that it is in fact on because YouTube will automatically turn your notification bell in the off position. So when I upload videos like this, you will not know when I upload videos because your notifications are off. So go ahead, goody, and check them just to make sure that they are on, okay? Make sure so you do that. It is so important. So that is what your chicken looks like after it has been cooking for five minutes. Perfect. Perfect. Good, good, good. That's how you want it to be. Now, after it's been cooking for 10 minutes, so 10 minutes now, total, go ahead and put your onions on top of the chicken like so and all the bell pepper go ahead and just pack it on top of your chicken just like this be sure your fire is on medium heat it is critical you do not put it on high heat because you are not going to be adding water to this chicken. Now, I had no water and I had no chicken broth, don't have anything. Now, after I did that, I went in and added just a little bit more of the white pepper along with a little bit of black pepper and a tad bit of salt. That's it. Just a tad bit, like half teaspoon on the veggies. Cover it up on low to medium heat and allow it to steam for about 30 minutes only after 30 minutes this is what your chicken is going to look like in all its natural juices just like that all its natural juices perfect do not add any liquids to the chicken let it cook in all its natural juices. All I did was just sprinkle a little bit more scallion on top of it because I wanted to, in fact, taste my scallion crunchy when, I, when I'm when i done with the recipe. I didn't add it earlier. Just boost it up a little bit just to give the scallion a little bit of flavor from all that natural juices that's going on in that pot. And the chicken was done. It's finished just like this. It's very easy and simple to make this recipe and healthy, very healthy. That, see how that? That's all the natural juices from the chicken. So you do not have to, have to add anything. I repeat, do not add any liquids to the chicken. Nothing, period, in that order. Now, if you're still here watching me cooking, make sure that you are subscribed to my second channel, Life is Juliana, all right? Now, I did have um, this recipe with the vegan mac and cheese. I will link that down below. These are all some of my vegan recipes that is on my second channel, Life as Juliana is over there. There is absolutely no more vegan recipes here. If you are one of my vegan goodies, go over to my channel, Life as Juliana. I'm also going to list that link down below. I have different videos over there, Dollar Tree DIY, story time, vlogs, and so much more. So go over there and subscribe. The link again will be listed down below now when I was done and I plated everything with some plantains the vegan mac and cheese a little bit of string beans and some tomatoes baby tomatoes or sweet baby tomatoes it was all done on the platter and it was very very fast and easy to make and healthy very very healthy recipe right here now if you want to see me making more keto recipes like that 
go ahead and ask and your girl is always here to deliver make sure that you're spe you're, you're sharing the love with friends and family now this is what the chicken looks like at a closer glimpse when you bite into it well i'm going to take my first bite and make you see oh the chicken is so moist and it's filled with so much flavor on the inside it's very very simple to make and it's very delicious oh yes it sure is now this recipe is one of those must try recipes that is filled with flavor and yes it's also fast easy and simple now make sure so yeah spread the love out with friends and family share the recipe with you know everybody you come in contact with put it on your social media pages and let everybody know what's cooking on up over here now be sure also that your post notifications are on you're going to give a girl a thumbs up i, I so appreciate it after you don't do that tell me where you want to see me a cook next in my kitchen and remember as always from my kitchen to your kitchen enjoy